So what did she find? She found 15 volatile organic chemicals that were detected in the air samples. Remember, it was in the residential area and in the airfield. And those 15 volatile organic compounds were in excess of Texas Commission on Environmental Quality, or TCEQ, short and long-term effective screen levels. So 15 of those compounds exceeded the standard. Five of the seven ambient air station samples exceeded the short-term or long-term effects. The other two were out of the area of influence, but did have a little detects. So the number of chemicals present in excess of the screening levels were 10 chemicals at a location on Chisholm, eight chemicals at another location near the airfield, five chemicals exceeded at another location on Chisholm, three chemicals exceeded at the airfield, one chemical exceeded on Burgess, and nobody looked at the cumulative health impacts <coughs> from the agency's perspective. So when you find one chemical, you can look at the risk of that one chemical. But here we were finding multiple chemicals at one location that exceeded the risk. So this shows you how much it exceeded. Because most of the time when we get exceedances, it's a little over, and then they start telling you, well, it's not a problem when it's just a little over. So you look at carbon disulfide, it was 10 times the short-term risk and 103 times the long-term risk, way over the standard. Benzene, known human cancer-causing agent, was 1.45 times the short-term and 55 times the long-term. And you can see all the other chemicals that exceeded, and these chemicals are known to cause cancer, and they're neurotoxic chemicals not the kind you would really like to have in your environment on a daily basis. So what are the human health effects associated with the specific chemicals that Elisa found in her sampling that exceeded the short-term and long-term? Irritated skin, eyes, nose, throat, and lungs, headaches, dizziness, lightheaded, nausea, vomiting, skin rashes, and on and on and on. So these are the ones that everyone knows are associated with those chemicals that exceeded the standard. So then we start looking at the human health effects associated with the chemicals detected in the air in excess and the chronic health effects. Those were acute, meaning quickly after you're exposed, these are long-term, after long-term exposure. Damage to liver and kidneys, damage to the lungs, damage to developing fetuses, causes reproductive damages, and on and on and on. And remember, a large number of chemicals did exceed the long-term or the chronic health impact. So then, remember, we did a health survey. And it was distributed to those in the community and those who used to live in the community. 31 people actually filled them out. One was a previous resident, and 30 were current residents. And when we started asking the questions like, how often do you experience odor events? 90% of those who filled out the survey experience odor events here in DISH. The one that was a previous resident filled it out for the odor events when that person lived here in DISH. So then you start looking at the health impacts associated with the sulfur smell, which they said that were the kind of odors they smell. Sulfur compounds. Burning eyes, runny nose, sore throat, sinus, headache, and asthma. And then in general they reported the second